pals this is big al welcome to big al presents films with friends a special friday night edition the film tonight is the 2015 film the witch or as i like to say the the ditch because they use the old timey writing story subtitle a new england folk tale it is a folk horror film written and directed by Robert Eggers, who uh, really has a great style about him, and I really like the stuff he's been doing. That is the film. The friends, so far, are deleted scenes. Uh, how are you doing, sir? I am waiting, um, I am waiting on Soundtracks with Birdman. He is on his way home. Uh, so maybe a minute or so before I start the film, but just bear with us. But until then, we got deleted scenes here in uh, in person. How are you doing, sir? Oh, fair to partly cloudy. How about yourself, Al? I am doing well. Uh, we were talking uh, back in the green room. Uh, mm -hmm. Our experience with the the witch or the vavitch, as uh, as it's written. Um, I will I will say hi as people come into chat. Nobody said hi yet. Uh, that's fine. You know, it's uh, the Friday the Friday nights are kind of a different creature. Uh, I think the more I do them, the more people realize we do it. Plus, mm -hmm. it's uh, Friday before Halloween. There could be some parties tonight. Indeed. I don't know, but I've been wanting to watch this movie again, and I have thought about doing more rewatches early on Friday nights on opposite weeks that I do my rewatch. So on Netter, when Netter does it on a Saturday night, I would do one the Friday night before. Uh, at least while I've got nothing else to do until Professor Geek comes up with another book study uh, when I'll join him for that. Um, but until then, you know, I thought every couple of weeks do a Friday night special and do the do the witch because it's you know it's Halloween. Uh, maybe get back to doing some more fun uh, '80s fantasy films or whatever fantasy films. There are a lot of great fantasy films out there that uh, I need to watch again. Uh, so yeah. Um, how much do you know about uh, the witch and Robert Eggers in general? Are you uh, are you aware of his career, uh, his his style, as it were? I am. I I first became aware of him through this movie, mm -hmm. and uh, this this is an interesting one because mm -hmm. it, it is 
And I think even in the script, it's kind of written as if it is a tale being told from this time period. And uh, obviously, he he did his research on this one. And yeah, uh, yeah. this one, it, with, this, without this, him, was, this was his first film, and he knocked it out of the park, mm -hmm. in my estimation. He did. This is a very good movie. This yeah. is a very good movie. It's not like it's not fast paced. It's not, um, it's not uh, the jump scares. Uh, they call it a horror film, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of more than that. It's more macabre. Uh, it's that dark, uh, satanic fantasy. Uh, it's, it's really the kind of film I like and enjoy. Slow building. Uh, it uses uh, imagery and music and sound so well to uh, develop the mood. Oh, it is, it's, it's just really, really good. Um, but he's also uh, done some, he, he also did The Lighthouse, which I still need to see. Um, mm -hmm. I, I might have to put that on my list for the next couple of days because I've been really wanting to watch that. And uh, he did the, and we were we were talking about it back in the back in the green room, The Northman, which cool. is kind of a, a dark action revenge story with yeah, uh, kind of uh, Alan, Hamlet meets Conan, yeah, yeah, is it it Alexand the, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, yeah, I get those Skarsgårds mixed up. Uh, yeah, uh, Alexander Skarsgård playing a Viking warrior who is seeking revenge on his mother for the death of their his father and mm -hmm. Anya Taylor Joy is in that one too and he seems to um, Robert Egger seems to be the kind of guy who likes to work with some of the same people and I kind of admire that mm -hmm. about someone when they have um, uh, like Tar like a Tarantino or uh, uh, who else am I trying to think of um, um. Wes Anderson uses a lot of the yeah. same people. Uh, Scorsese, yeah, obviously, uh, has yeah. um, his yeah, go-to actors. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a little uh, dramatic troupe. Uh, I, and I kind of like that. It's, almost, it's like that. I have not watched, I've only seen one or two of the shows, but I really like the, uh, the concept of the troupe doing, um, what's the one? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, Daniel, uh, Harry Potter, mm -hmm. da uh, Daniel, Daniel, help me. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Radcliffe. I couldn't get Rathbone out of my head. I knew that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. um, but like, it's it's him and it's a few of the other guys and uh, that have done several shows. Oh, and, the, uh, hey, the Birdman the... is here. Oh, right on. Well. Hey, Birdman! Hello. Welcome. We were—I was schmoozing a little bit until you got here. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm okay. I'm sorry. I was—I was late. You're not that. I always like to give a good 10, 15 minutes before I start it. Anyway, okay. uh, anybody who is uh, going to join us, I don't see anybody right now. Well, I got one person's eyeball out there, uh, which is cool. I do have, I'm going to be putting this on Cosme. So uh, uh, I'm going to be watching it through that as well. Uh, in fact, while I'm sitting here talking about it, I'm going to load her up so that it's ready. And that'll give, that'll give Birdman some time. And do, 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 do. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. You are ready? Okay. Well, let yeah. me. Um, I'm just taking mine back to zero, and uh, I'm gonna bring this out a little bit so I can see um, if anybody, you know, I can see the chat. There we, there we go. Now I'm there. So, uh, anybody out there, you know, who may decide to join us, this is on the Cosby link, but it's only good for if you join us right now. So. Uh, you, you, you said you're ready, Birdman? Yeah. Uh, I know you haven't seen the film, uh, so this is going to be new for you. And, uh, you ready? 
Yeah, uh, I'm the Saints. Deleted Saints. Did I lose deleted Saints? Sorry, I was muted. I am ready. Oh, oh okay. Uh, oh. Now, bear with me. I am dealing with Cosby that I'm trying to keep out of um, another thing, so I can so I can see the chat. So if if I have a few technical difficulties, I apologize. Okay, so ready in three, two, one, go. It's still like an hour and a half. A a twenty four. Yes, yeah, not a long film, really. Yeah, I kind of like that because it, it it it's a slow build. It uh, takes its time, which I I appreciate. Mott Street Pictures. I did put the, the right. Yeah, I did. Okay, Rook Nest Entertainment. Saying that so we can all link. Make sure we're linked up. Here comes the music. Dark and brooding. The oh, it's a New England folk tale. Yeah, it's um, it's it's set in like the or like sixteen hundreds. You know, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the sound. Have you ever heard the soundtrack to this, Birdman? Uh, I don't know anything about this movie. I know they used all period instruments. I'm looking well, at it on eBay right now. Yeah, Robert Robert Eggers did not want any modern synth or anything. So there's like no Celine Dion song on the credits. Uh, <laughs> no. Not that kind of film. No. Pretty straightforward. I mean, like like I said, it uses music to build a mood, build a to kind of it 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 tweak it tweaks that back of the neck nerve. I always I always that's how I equate it. Well, it looks like the CD runs around a hundred dollars. The LP runs around thirty dollars, which makes no sense to me. The CD. LP just came out last year. The CD um, was a low print run. In fact, there's only one CD listed on eBay. I have the I have the music downloaded on MP4, so. Because as I was as I was telling deleted scenes early, um, I knew Taylor Joy, who this first time I'd ever seen her. I love her look. She looks like an alien, and has really grown into you know one of those beautiful women. She's well, late twenties right now, I think twenty seven. So she was about nineteen twenty when she did this film. Sent out into the wilderness. I said the Puritan times, man, it was a rough, rough time and a very, um, What's the word I'm looking for? You know, um, devout. Oh well, well devout, but um, 
when when you've got a lot of like scared beliefs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't think of it. Like, can't think of the word. What's the word? Superstitions. Superstitious. Yeah, superstition uh, is a good word. And here we are some time later. They've nice up, built nice up a nice. homestead. And it's an it's amazing what a, a man and his son, even even if his son's like still a young kid, a kid, they really do. Their work ethic is amazing. It's amazing. Back you then. had to. You didn't have a choice. I know. You had. Uh, there was a. Um, there was a television show, like called Frontier House, and they had families. At, had one had a house already built, but there was one that he had to build his own house before his wife came out. And uh, it's a lot of work to do. Love her name, Thomason. It's not a name you hear anymore. <laughs> now, as as someone who's done medieval recreation and ca- encampment and stuff, I love the idea of living in a very rustic state i couldn't do it now but you know when i was young and vital and strong a kid a baby whoa does this movie have space aliens in it that, uh, no. that quickly where'd the baby go exactly Where'd the baby go? Yeah. He's like, this game's stupid. I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, she could go boot at me all day long. No, a little segment of that. Take it. Yeah, this, this movie is not playing. Yeah, and it, it and it doesn't, and it's straight. Uh, it's kind of straightforward. It's the the Puritan kind of uh, fear of the devil, and that's exactly what's going on. It's you know there are witches and there are devils. There's no aliens. It's not, it's not a psycho killer. Uh, it's no weird twist. It, it is very straightforward. That's a pretty sight. <laughs> double, double toil and trouble. I love, I, love, I love the soundtrack of this thing. I 
and now she can fly. Such a comfortable life, sleeping on the floor. Like I said, even as young as he is, he's a virtual man, you know, as far as the house and homestead is concerned. All the color palette that they use here, which is so muted. What's his name again? That's Ralph Ralph Innocent, right? Mm -hmm. The actor playing the father. He is he's a great actor. Sadly he's wasted. He's a creator, and I didn't even recognize him. Oh yeah, he's in um sadly, he, he was in the Willow series. It's just oh, so his character was so so much potential and then it just kind of fizzled out much like the entire series as a whole that series was such a disappointment what year did this come out 2015 so it's fairly recent this you know last eight years The, the struggle of the solitary homesteader. You got to grow your food. You got to catch your food. You got to cut your wood. <laughs> I know that rifle has to weigh like a ton. Oh, yeah. Those old guns, man. Jeez. They were built sturdy.
Does it have any handles there, girl? So not only, like I said, not only got to catch everything, you got to draw your own water and hope you got a good well. Is that an old flintlock? Mm -hmm. It is. I'd love to shoot one of them. I shot an old revolver once, kind of like a, uh, like the kind that uh, uh, Josie Wales had, where you had to preload the uh, the chambers. And a friend of mine had a, had one of those. That thing was fun. Uh oh. Mine mine restarted. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, well, I can you give me a timestamp. Mine's mine's back on. Oh, sixteen twenty five. Okay, yeah, I'm at sixteen twenty one. So yeah, I got back to around the same space. Something that it reset, but I got back yeah, to the same. That spot. was weird. <laughs> also, you're watching through Cosby. Uh, I've got both my copy and Cosme so we can be synced. Oh, okay. Are we synced up? Pretty much. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just suddenly did a a twenty that went back to the beginning. Yeah, that was weird. That's why that's I've why I, it, I, I've never seen it do that before. It'll do weird things. I remember the first time I ever ran it, it ran the beginning like three times before it's continued. It was really weird. But I'm glad you're running an extra so if something happens, I can get back. Hmm. Now, I looked to see if there was any other place running this film, and there wasn't, so I decided, I said, well, I'll run it on Cosby. I'll just watch it through Cosby. And hello to you, too, Delete. It's... it's hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we have uh, someone who has joined us in Cosme who I'm... as well. So, hello to all joining us on Cosme. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the movie. Nobody, so nobody said anything in stream in um, the chat yet. So, but if you're with us in Cosme, awesome. And just listening along. I think you got, got a couple eyeballs on us. Oh, no, that's not a flintlock. That's something else. That's a matchlock. That's that what, what that's called? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were just as just as normal for that to happen than for action shoot. <laughs> Black Phillip really got a uh, oh, yeah. nice little fan following, <laughs> uh, and an art and a lot of art artists uh, 
depictions as well. Hi, Lady Mist. Thank you for joining us. Ah. We're on, the, uh, if you Cosby link at the top, if you want to join us in the, where we're at, watching the, watching the I, witch. I believe she is already present. Awesome. I can't see the, co I can't see the, see the Cosby chat. I, I, I don't have, I don't have two computers or like, um, uh, I'm going to say it up front. These two kids completely useless. Yeah, they're they're yeah, they're still yeah. Yeah. Plus they're they're, they're pretty much as creepy as the shining twins. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy fell. And it's the beginning of uh, the mother pretty much blaming everything on Thomason. Yeah. They're such a lovable couple of little kids. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what you need here, uh, Birdman. A uh, 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 pretty girl doing that, like the girl Happy on Wood? YouTube, like the girl on YouTube. Yeah. Have you ever seen? Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? The latest scenes. Um, there's, there's a possibly. girl on YouTube. There's a girl on YouTube, and she's basically she's a woodcutter, and I mean the wow. girl is just. All muscle, but she just said, crack. She is crack. <laughs> yeah, she she is she's beautiful. Plus, she just you know splitting all the wood there is kind of cool. I mean, all Canadian women look like that, don't they? We can we can only hope. Caleb. Uh, yeah. Staring at his sister in an ungodly fashion there. Well, who else do they have to look at? It's not like they got the internet. Yeah, that's the true. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Uh, this ain't going to help him. <laughs> This is working. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now, Thomason. Thank you. <laughs> but you're right. I mean, I'm sure weird things would happen in the olden days. And uh, heck, even the not so olden days sometimes, sadly.
Not a whole lot to eat for supper. No, I like uh, you know. You had a shot at at some uh, rabbit, but yeah, one rabbit don't feed that many people. No, but it's protein nonetheless. Feed the men the protein to build the muscles and. I think if you eat subside on a diet of rabbit, you have to suck the mar out of the bones. There's not enough substance in just the rabbit. Never really thought about it that much. I I read it like online somewhere, so it, you know it must be true. Well, I mean, you know, to hopefully they have more than that to to go on. First, they have a few farm animals, but. They, they're going to need that for the milk and eggs and things like that. Out in the woods, you would hope to find rabbits, wild turkeys, um, a deer. A deer would be a feast. Yeah. A moose? Uh, would, they have, would they have had them? Well, I don't know where they would. Elk? They probably have elk. Yeah, least. yeah. You get something like that. My, uh, my cousin was by today. Uh, th- my, well, my aunt, my cousin visited me and thankfully bought me more quarters so now I can do laundry. And uh, he had, he's got a deer that he needs to do some processing of the meat on. Hope he brings me some. Mm, I love deer. Some ground venison, make some venison chili. Easy, easy to fast for your sins when the food is like not too much. I don't know how much sinning I could do out there. Basically, anything is a sin. <laughs> what you think, um, any, they could twi- a, a good Puritan could twist anything into a sin. That's true. And that's why I like period pieces like this during this time, and even like during uh, and like some of the Hammer films, like watch Captain Kernos. You know, you get that period where witches, devils, vampires, werewolves, they're real. As far as these people are concerned, they're out there and they're going to get you. <laughs> It's not like, you know, a modern day where we're so 
jaded in our modern day thinking. I, I like this period because the people believed it. And to depict that belief kind of raises the stakes of the uh, of the horror. I didn't see it. Was it hiding behind the rabbit? Yeah, oh, dang it. Uh -huh. Good night, John boy. <laughs> Good night, Mary Ellen. <laughs> Good night, Chief McLeod. So does this have a happy ending? Um, um well, it depends. It depends on how you look at it. <laughs> I think I think the lead scenes would agree with me with that. What do you say? It, it's one of those it's one of those from a certain point of view type of things. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> and uh wait, well when we get to the ending, I'll I'll go a little bit more into uh into that. What what I wasn't doing oh Telltale.
Oh, I forgot that they they used to be in England. Mm -hmm. I bet that rifle weighs at least fifteen pounds. Wouldn't be surprised. I've seen some of those. Even the even the pistols are pretty hefty. <laughs> Freaky little rabbit. So what's the deal with the bunny rabbit? Oh, that's just it. What is the deal with the bunny rabbit? In the um oops. In the ad in the uh ads and the posters, the rabbit and the goat, and I think there was another animal. Can't think of it right now. That would you know kind of had a dark connotation like was it was it uh something else you know was it the devil in disguise leading you know spying on you and leading you astray Oh, I forgot about the dog thing. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> See, such a simple shot, but that, that sound, that music. <laughs> That's like a horrible position to be in because you're going to burn up so many calories just trying uh, to get you off. Oh, I know. I mean, one, he's lost. Two, he's carrying around that humongous rifle. She woman. <laughs> hey, that looks like a Tinder date I had the other night. <laughs> Easy little red riding <laughs> T 
Tis an ample witch indeed. He's got a great look on his face. He is terrified, but oddly curious. <laughs> okay, so my screen's just gone black. Is it supposed to happen like that? Yeah. Okay, there's, there's, there's the girl. You're slightly ahead of me because <laughs> that little glitch I had. I've got uh, 42, 35, 36, 37. Yeah, I'm, I'm 42, 44, 45. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with it because I just mess it up. I said she must have hit him hard because he... <laughs> So what happened to his clothes? 
Good question. What happened to his clothes? <laughs> I mean, we can assume the witch did some witchy things to him. Yeah, you gotta love you gotta love an old time uh, home health care. <laughs> yeah, I, I would I would take a pass on that. It's like a Captain Kurnos last week when he turns around, he's got all the leeches on his back. <laughs> you gotta let out the bad blood, man. I like a goat. Goats are cool. Uh oh. I I do like that black goat. He seems kind of cool. Yeah, Black Phillip's awesome. More signs of of witchery. So back then, anything that goes wrong, then you always blame a witch. Just like nowadays, they they blame a Republican or Trump for anything that goes wrong. Hurricane hits, Trump's fault.
She gets a good performance here. You know, Catherine Dickey? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Kate D- yeah, Kate Dickey. Playing yeah. Catherine. <laughs> she's she's in Prometheus as well. Yeah, she also played uh Lissa Aaron in uh, Game of Thrones. Ah. It almost seems like half of the actors you come across nowadays were in Game of Thrones at one point or another for <laughs> seems for like it. playing some part. She's scared that joking around is going to come back on her. Dude, does this child get eaten by anything? Or does it like fall on a creek and drown? Or, um, don't want to give anything away. This is kind of gross. Toss a lump of coal at your witcher. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you know, in Scotland, they would throw suspected witches into the river, and if they drowned, then they were not, and if they floated back up, they were, so then they would just drown them. Yeah. Yeah. So either way, you're going to drown. I mean, I forget the Nicene Creed sometimes, you know. It, it, yeah. It's still got a lot of parts to it.
Mass hysteria. Such an intense scene. <laughs> The thing is, she was able to pray. I would yeah. think that that would be proof enough that she's, you know, on the good side. really is trying to make the best of it. <laughs> but the mother's about to go off the deep end in a, in a, in a wow. <laughs>
you know what would make this movie better? What? More representation. <laughs> <laughs> there's too many white people in this movie. There's not enough. Um, hey, well, there's Black Philip. There's, there's, well, there needs to be some transgenders and some. Well, if you want, if you want something scary with representation, watch the Fall of the House of Usher. It is a really good series, but it is definitely uh, diverse with a big capital D. Everybody going cray cray now. <laughs> I think they're like trans religious, you know, they're like they're like Puritans, but they think they're pagans, so they're trying to transition to being pagans. What? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to make this modern for you know modern sensibilities. This is very. I think this is exactly what it needed to be. This feels like I don't, I don't know what you would really change to make it any "quote unquote" better because I don't okay. think it needs anything. Dude. I think it is. I was just know, talking silly smack. I know you were, but I, I'm also I'm also saying you know you get a lot of people saying, "Well, you know, maybe this needs to be tweaked." I think this film is about as good a horror film. <clears throat> Of, of the slow burn style that I like that there is. I, I would put, this is literally one of my top five horror films of all time. Does that, does that goth chick come back that was living out in the woods? Does she come back? Uh, yes, no. Not really a big time, no. no. It's really about this family and what happens.
I love her eyes. Just, just, her eyes are just so mesmerizing to me. Now I remember something. Those twins are freaky. Yes, uh, this is the Necronomicon, and uh, <laughs> that's her dad. No. Mm -mm. Well, that's not freaky. <laughs> so she's dreaming of feeding her child and it's a raven pecking at her breast. <laughs> She's bleeding from her breath there. And so the paranoia of living in that time must have been incredible well it's i mean think of this guy's situation you're alone in the middle of nowhere in an unknown land who knows what kind of demons and dark forces are, are surrounding you
Titus. Do the rest. Ugh. What happened to the farm animals? They're all dead. But, yeah. but why? They're right. The witch got them. It was drinking their blood. Oh, those things are nasty. Oh. Hey, Troy. Just saw, just saw Troy had checked in. Ah, yes. Hello, Troy. I guess this is when you can say, like, computer exit program. <laughs> you would hope, right? If, yeah. yeah. It's in Tomasino. Please report to the bridge. So is she all alone now? Um, In a manner of speaking. <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to find a way to say it. <laughs> Depends on your point of view. As far as family, yes, she is alone. Her father's dead. Her mother's dead. The twins were taken. Her, her brothers are dead.
Uh, so she's she's in shock right now. What happened to the black goat? Oh, right there. <laughs> What's that like? Delicious. Delicious. Mark Philip was always more than he appeared. So she was a witch the entire time? No, she's just become one. No, there, there was a witch. More than one. But now she's she's seen everything that's happened, and now she's just kind of giving herself over to it. Yup, no, she job, yup, no, yeah. Hey. Here you get the inspiration for the poster. I always love I always love the poster of just her silhouette. Hey, 
Hey, fan man. You know, it's an effective horror movie when there's mostly silence watching. You are correct. Could the fumes from spoiled crops have hallucinatory effect? Written and directed by Robert Eggers. I love that ending. And you, you had asked before, does it have a happy ending? I think that could qualify as a happy ending for her. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure about that. But... I, I I mean, it, it's it's one of those weird things you have, like I said, from a certain point of view. Mm -hmm. Does it have a happy ending in the, in the normal sense? No. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, every literally everybody dies except for her and she falls to the will of the devil and becomes a witch so no it's not a traditional at all happy ending and i i but i think it works for this film to have it end this way because it shows it shows the weakness of man in the face of the devil and I think that was kind of portrayed very well here. So Fabian says, that's a theory behind the witch scares of the later trials. It's a theory suggested about this movie. I don't agree, though. Yeah, this movie, I just believe that Black Phillip was messing with the kids' heads and manipulating everything. And he had his witchy minions in the woods helping him out and he wanted to take this family down and get Tomasina for himself. Very straightforward. And you know, it's not often the devil wins in a film. And this one he does. What do you think? Opinions? Yeah, it's, as as, it's as good a one as any. Um I was always back and forth on what the ending of the movie meant, mm -hmm. but uh, I think your theory is just as good one as any. Uh, it it makes sense. Yeah, it's it, you know, because uh, I because I, I I was always of the question that uh, Birdman had, which was you know was she the threat the entire time or not? You right, know, I, and, and I don't think and she wasn't. I don't believe I don't believe she fell until the very end. When it, she was at utter hopelessness, she had seen her brother die, brothers die. She had been accused of witchcraft, which she wasn't done, which she hadn't done. And then her her twin, the twins, went all crazy, um, which I think was because they had been talking to Black Phillip. Okay, so how, where? I guess my question is, you know, how did? Well, how did they get Black Philip then? Um, he could have just uh, been a goat, and he was taken over by the devil. I mean, the devil has many forms. He could have always been floating around mm -hmm. looking for the right family to get a hold of. But you're right. I mean, like I said, it's not, you know, not like where they it's get not to go spelled in the first out. Place. It doesn't need yeah, to be, not, but yeah, know, they yeah. just they were a family. He um he went to out there, he had some animals. One of them was this black goat, probably something he bought. And the black goat kind of saw an opportunity to do its thing. Mm -hmm. And it just happened to be a uh, one of the avatars of, of Satan.
it would be it, this would be good on a double bill with uh, when evil lurks which is an argentinian film that's out right now um I, in fact i think it's on shutter uh, as of today um Whereas this movie work. is 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 more subtle and is more subtle, and that one is pretty in your face, and that also has a a, a demonic goat in it. So, yeah. Okay, I'm closing but, that but, Cosby for anybody yeah. who's on there. I think you could pair this up with the Blair Witch. Yeah, you could. I mean, a point. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, to it, to the thing. I I think this film would really go well with that. With even like even something like uh, Captain Kronos or uh, or a good Hammer Witch film, mm -hmm. you know, I think it really it has that that sensibility. It's it's not in your face evil. It's not it's not a jump scare. It's uh, it is an examination of what is true evil and. In, Colonial times, there was nothing more evil than the devil and his witches on earth. And that is what this family came across and lost to. Uh, fan man in the uh, chat is saying that there's also the idea that they invited destruction by rejecting their community, thus also inviting the devil, aka Black Phillip. Uh, yeah, yeah um, I think. Uh, the director in the commentary, which I need to go back and see again because it's been a while. I I think he said something to uh, to that effect as well that that figured in. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, there was that one yeah. point where where um, the whoa, somebody heard something about Hello. there. <laughs> uh, Come on in, Father Arg. No, um, no, but. Uh, <laughs> Or the one point when when the father is outside and it's raining and he's like you know save my children, um, I he's like I have sinned my sin was pride, mm -hmm. you know I, and I think that's why he was a proud man who thought he could, you know, do all this, just him off on his own. You know, he had slightly didn't like the way the religion of the community had gone and he went out and did it on his own. Um, you know, he, just, he was a simple man with a simple belief. And it just kind of blew up in his face. <laughs> kind of. Um, and, and I mean, just in a, in a short way. But uh, it's just a really, it's a really good film. Like I said, it's one of my top five horror films. Actually, probably top three. And uh, it's, it's the kind of a horror film if anybody suggests a horror film to me, th it's along this line that I really like that uh, the imagery, uh, the brooding music, the 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 sense of dread, and uh, and and plus the fact that it was a period film even uh, helped it out too. Uh, Birdman, what do you think of the film? Your first time watching it. Um, I feel a little sick to my stomach after watching the ending. But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's uh, it's it's not a happy, not a happy, happy, joy, joy ending. Uh, she want you know the devil invite her. Do you want to live deliciously? Do you want to know the taste of butter? Do you want to know? Do you want to see the world? And she did, and she just she just fell. To the dark side, it was like the ending of Revenge of the Sith <laughs> in a weird way, you know. I mean, like, I, I'm not like a big. I would never say I'm, I'm a horror movie fan. Right. I, I don't. I don't care for just people getting senselessly murdered and everything. What do you um? What about but, the use of the music in it? I mean, I know you like you like music and soundtracks. I, I think the music. Very, you need to hear it separately. It was I'm very sure. at atmospheric. It fit the film. I don't remember any of it. I didn't recognize any themes right. that carried through the picture or evolved. But in yeah. the context of the film, it was fine. Right. It's yeah. It's not, it's one of those where it's a true score of a film. It doesn't have that quote unquote theme or fanfare or any recognizable musical uh, cue. It is music 
to work your nerve and to to keep that feeling of fear and i think it worked perfectly and uh but yeah and so i think it's it's i think it's a great film for this time of year um colonial time and witches uh like since salem witch trials uh is is kind of a kind of an interesting uh thing to me and uh, i really liked it and i'm glad i could share it with my friends like i said I, you know I'll pick it. I'll pick something a little more fun the next time we we do this on a Friday night. You know, like a fun fantasy, maybe lots of boobs. You know, for for us guys here. Or, you know, <laughs> I'm joking around, sort of. But I, uh, I, it's I I think it was a good film. It's not something that I'm gonna like go back what? to. Like like oh, I remember I'm gonna watch tonight. Oh, I'll watch right. this Disney movie. Like, it, you know. It, it, yeah, it's uh, like I said, it is, it is very much a me kind of film, but it isn't for everybody. Uh, and, but I just think it's a great one for this time of year uh, because it does, it has that fall feel. It's dark, you know. It's the harvest time for these guys. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're thinking, getting through the winter. Um, so there you have it. it. It's an educated person's horror film. Thank you. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, it is. It, it, it is. It's, it, it's, it's one a very it, literate horror film. It's not just the guy with a knife jumping out, slashing up right. blank teenagers. Yeah, and, and I, I'll be the first one to say, I like a good slasher as much as anybody if it's done well. Um, you know, I, I don't like a mindless slasher, but I like, or even if it's a little bit of fun. Um, like that one I watched the other day, The Bell Keeper. I gave it two and a half because it's a two and a half film at its best but i had fun watching it i mean it's better than Ouija shark but uh you know it, it, i i enjoyed the experience it was a good experience but it was a little silly the acting is a little weird in some spots and the you know the cuts and stuff but uh you know but this film i think i would if i if i was watching this if i had to rate this today I would give this 10 star. I, I mean, 10, hell. Woo, that's a lot. I was thinking 10 words. But uh, I'd give it five. I would give it five, four and a half or even five stars, probably. Because I don't see really any fault in the film. It's exactly what it needs to be. It evokes the feeling it wants to to do, and it, and it keeps it alive. I think the, the only issue, maybe a little stuff of setting up the expo a little bit more exposition at the beginning but to me that's that's minor i think realistically but um i'm glad you guys could could join me um birdman you got anything coming up on your channel uh um, i know i know you're kind of busy work-wise i'm just so covered up with clients right now and that's would like to put out um do you want do you have a link for the for the GoFundMe. Well, it, it wasn't like an official GoFundMe. It was, I just reached out to people in the community who who know him. And, oh, okay. And it, well, yeah, uh, I mean, it's all taken if, care of at this point. If I mean, anything, um, a friend of Soundtracks with Birdman, uh, Ian Clark, uh, who has a channel. He's uh, he's he's another uh, soundtrack person. His girlfriend is yeah. having some very serious medical issues right now um just keep your prayers for for her uh like i said i don't do what do you, do you have her name just uh allison allison um just just remember uh prayers for allison ian clark's girlfriend uh she's she's had a rough time in the last year or so and uh she's kind of back in the hospital doesn't look great, but uh, definitely keep her in your prayers. So, uh, uh, if, if we get a few few good vibes, hopefully that'll help. But uh, uh, Ian Clark, he has he has a channel here. He's a good he's a good dude um, uh, with soundtracks. He definitely definitely could use that. Uh, but I do know you're busy, um, so you don't have anything planned but every now and then you still pop on if you get something in the mail 
which is yeah. which is cool. I, I just, I've, I've got I've been blessed with four new clients in the past month, and yeah, I'm, I'm trying to adjust everything and so um, work everything in. And yeah. I got another client that's probably going to double in size here by the end of the year. So awesome. sometimes you just kind of like say, okay, this part of my life's just got to like. Money, right now and yeah money money and job kind of takes precedent over youtubing i mean i get it yeah. uh but yeah it's just uh sam jackson birdman his link is below in the channel i do believe uh in the description area definitely check his channel out it's got some good stuff on there uh, and hopefully more stuff to come deleted scenes thank you of course for joining me again uh what you got coming up? Let everybody know. All right. Um, Sunday afternoon, I will be joining Jedi Bill for, for uh, Western Cinema Sunday. And uh, we're going to be watching an independent horror Western called Ghost Town uh, from, uh, from this year. So it's a brand new movie. And uh, we're going to be checking that out. Um, have you guys um, watched? I, oh, um, uh, was it Bone Tomahawk or something like that? We did see that. Yes. Oh, okay. I have to. I still have to watch that. But uh, it's, so, uh, it's so that's on <laughs> that's on Jedi Bill's channel. That's on Jedi Bill's channel. And what uh, times? So, so, what time Saturday? Uh, four p.m. Or, Sunday. Four p.m. Sunday. Sorry. Okay. And then you have uh, at eight o'clock, unscripted. Unscripted. Uh, any uh, mm -hmm. any uh, particular episode? Uh, episode thirty-seven, uh, entitled "The Race Is On," and uh, I'm going to be talking about. Uh, I'm going to be prognosticating on the upcoming awards season. Um, oh, okay. Well, there know, I, uh, <laughs> um. Um, I think they'll do as awards of, as of right now, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be um, very, it's going to be very bare if they do have them. Uh, yeah, because the, um, the situation is, and, and I'm going to be going a little deeper into this on the show is, uh, with the actor strike now dragging on, uh, as it has. And, uh, if, and, um, again, this is just information I've heard third hand. If if the strike goes past November 10th, we're going to be seeing a lot of cancellations. 2024 is going to be pretty much done. Dang. If uh, they don't get back to work. They've they've already pushed the next mission impossible movie back to 2025. Ugh. Yeah, yeah and, they're, and, they're, they're, yeah, they're shooting themselves in the foot because... They really are. This is just like the pandemic. The world mm -hmm. had not... Hollywood has not recovered from the pandemic, and now they're doing this, which is, I think, yeah. kind of just shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine if my local theater starts showing The Empire Strikes Back again. I'm, I'm fine with say, that. Hey, you know, Retro Cinema, mm -hmm. man, uh, well, it's a better show, but... That, that was show. the best summer. You know, they showed Star Wars, Indiana Jones, The Goonies, Ghostbusters. Uh, you know, all, all those great movies from like the 80s and the early 90s were on that summer in the theater. I I once was, uh, me and a friend of mine were going to do a, a, a movie theater. We had a concept for a movie theater cafe and a cafe, but it would show, you know, classic films. And it was like, it was a chess a chess motif, um, but um, it would have been uh, a bit cool. To, it, it would, it's so cool to watch an older film in the style in which it was meant to be seen on a big screen in an audience, you know, uh, stuff like that. I'm going to get dinged. Or is that one of you guys? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so a, um, unscripted uh, at uh, eight o'clock. And then at eight o'clock. And then, then, of course, uh, that's the lead in, of course, to uh, Geeky Geezers. Geeky I'm not going to be on the show, but I'm going to give them a shout out anyway because they support yeah, my show so much. That's, uh, uh, that's Age of, on Age of Boomers channel at Age 9 o'clock Eastern on uh, mm -hmm. Sunday. But then you have another show at 
which is the other side of midnight. Did I get that, that right? Correct. Ah, I always want to say after midnight. I got it right this time. <laughs> other side of midnight. Um, you do have a possible guest that I, I've heard of. If I do. They stay, yeah. If they can stay awake <laughs> and are lucid <laughs> during that time at midnight, which is not easy, uh, <laughs> considering yeah. that last night I fell asleep and I woke up and it was like 11 o'clock. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? Um, and then fell right back to sleep. That's only it was four. But uh, yeah, it's been a long couple weeks. I, uh, just in my, I've been in my chair a lot. Uh, I was in my chair a lot today. It takes a lot out of me when I when I do long hauls like that. It was grocery day. Uh, but I did celebrate. I had a sub tonight. Got Subway. Got my BMT. I, I, I could not decide on anything else. And I kept coming back to my... Big BMT at uh, Subway, and I bought myself a cookie to celebrate with it. Uh, one of the white chocolate macadamia nuts. Uh, yeah, if I'm awake Sunday night uh, at, on uh, the outside of midnight, I'll be joining deleted scenes. For, I don't know how long. Who knows? I might fall asleep on the air. Well, who, hopefully not. <laughs> who, who wouldn't want to hear? Me, who would not want to hear me snore? Uh, but uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. so check that out. And uh, and uh, Tuesday night, I uh, do have uh, uh, episode two of my new series, uh, which is uh, live from Sparkwood in 21, which I co-host with Troy Pacelli, Netters Network, and Aged Boomer. And it is a rewatch and retrospective of the Twin Peaks television series. Cool. So, uh, I did this, see. This I, episode, I saw. The, I saw the opening of that, and then mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Uh, not nothing of yours. Just a long day. Um, understand. Never. I've never seen the show before, so I don't know how much I'll really be it, joining in that one uh, to watch. But uh, I hope good luck with it, man. I know Twin Peaks has got a big fan base out there. It has, it bigger has, than just, Troy and Netter. They they love that <laughs> show. Uh, the, and and this episode coming up is perfect for Halloween because this is this is the episode that has the uh, now famous dream sequence in it that everybody remembers from the show so. <coughs> oh sorry I got a little tickle in my throat for my soda I understand <coughs> pardon me um, I'm not going to worry about the mute button I'm just going to work through it um, as for me uh, of course, I'll be joining uh, Netter, Netter's Network tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to be watching The Corpse Bride. Uh, that'd be fun. It'll be my first time watching that. Uh, like, it's, uh, like I said, Sunday night, I may be on uh, the other side of midnight. Um, all things hopefully going well. Uh, the next uh, Films with Friends is going to be next Saturday. The fourth, I believe, and we're going to be watching since we're out of the Halloween season, um, at least officially the Halloween season, um, going kind of the other direction, going to be watching the classic family comedy drama film starring Henry Fonda and Lucille Ball, yours, mine, and ours. What happens? When a woman with eight kids falls in love with a man with ten kids and get married. And um, hilarity ensues. Or weirdness ensues, depending on your point of view. So, uh, just a great movie. And um, two weeks after that, for my Thanksgiving selection this year, Polly Shore and Son-in-Law. So, that's November on uh, Films with Friends. Uh, two weeks from tonight... Might do another film if uh, either of you two are available. And if anybody out there is hearing this and wants to do a film, either on a Friday night or just any time, you know, if you want to join in, um, let me know. We'll, we'll work something out, uh, especially the Friday nights. I think that'll be fun. Uh, I know Deleted Scenes joins in when he can. Uh, Birdman, will, I'm sure, would join in when he can. And, uh, you know. I guess it also depends on the film, but uh, we'll see. I don't know who who might be here in a couple of weeks. Of course, you both are in, are invited to whatever may turn up if I do go through it. 
excuse me, <clears throat> just that one little tickle. And uh, of course, keep uh, eyes out for any reviews that I might have. I uh, got a couple out, like I said, I did one for the Bellkeeper and uh, a couple other things out there. Just uh, go check out my channel for that. I'm working on one for Fall of the House of Usher. Might have to end up writing that out. I, I attempted to record it earlier, and I just got, I just could not get the words right. So, uh, but keep an eye out. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get try to get that out in the next uh, few days. So I'm not I'm not pressed for it. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks to everybody who joined us. I know Lady Mist and Fan Man definitely were flirting around in the chat. Always good to have those people in chat. Uh, remember later tonight, last call with Troy Pacelli talking about lesbian vampires. Hey, yeah. that right, that right there, if that doesn't pique your interest, I don't know what will. Um, so, you know, you got to admit, you know, a hot little witch girl, not a bad little lead in to lesbian witches. So I'm sure there'll be some hammer hard talk. Some Camilla, what's it? Camilla, Carmilla, Camilla. Mm -hmm. I forget exactly who the, who the, the female witch is. I mean, female vampire, but uh, anyway. Uh, anybody have any final thoughts? Snide remarks? <laughs> <laughs> Insults to humanity? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, again, thank you once again, Al, for uh, having me on. It's good mm -hmm. to be on with uh, Birdman again. It's been a while. Uh, and uh, was, one thing I... Definitely good to have the Birdman here. Neat. And uh, one thing that uh, I didn't bring up earlier, and I'm not quite sure when I'm going to drop it, but I, I have a review coming up for uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Ooh, I, I saw that, that last night. So I got that. I got that downloaded. So I'm gonna. Yeah, oh, I nice. need to check. The, I need to check that out. Uh, Reviews have been pretty mixed on that one. Uh, it's like the establishment critics absolutely are tearing it to shreds. I could care less what the establishment critics say. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I worry about me and even people, if you believe, if you take at heart what I believe in a film, I, you're wrong. Because the ultimate judge of a movie is always going to be you. Uh, so, definitely. If, you, if, if you're interested in a film, watch it. <laughs> you know, because you, you're going to be the best judge. Uh, but yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. That looks that looks mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Um, what was there's something else I that looked cool coming up, but I can't remember it. I gotta I gotta remember to keep watching upload. I don't know if you've ever seen that one on Amazon Prime. You know, uh, no, you, not yet. You, you, your consciousness gets uploaded after you die, and you basically you live in this virtual world, and yeah. it's a. Uh, it's kind of a cool film. It's, uh, it's third season. Uh, it's, it's just something. In, uh, it's kind of cool. It stars uh, Robbie Amell. And the Cigarette Smoking Man is in it, too, which is kind of cool. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, uh, for joining in. God bless. Have a happy Halloween. Have a safe Halloween. Uh, still got a few more days out there. Lots of great horror films out there you can still watch. Uh, like I said, uh, in about 30, 45 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, 20 no, minutes. Well, 20. <laughs> oh, I misread my clock. Uh, about 20 minutes. Last uh, last call with Troy Pacelli. Once more, the two words, all you need to know. Lesbian vampires. So, yeah. That's, you know, join in for that discussion. Uh, take care, everyone. Don't eat too much candy. And watch out for the razor blades. And definitely live deliciously. Take care, everyone.